All right, this is a quick little two for one video about capturing virtual audio on your Mac uh, for people using Big Sur or an M1 Mac in 2021, just wanting a better way to do it in software because you can't afford to do it in hardware. You're doing this on a budget. It used to be that everybody used Soundflower, this open source kernel extension. But unfortunately, over the iterations of Mac OS for the different operating system versions, the way that audio is, is uh, treated and captured on the, on the operating system is that they hook it differently every time there's a new version out. So you end up just like with buggy software. And I think in 2015, it says on here, the project ended. So somebody else took it up and took the open source and, and turned it into something else. There is software that this great company Rogue Amoeba do called Loopback. It's kind of expensive, but it's really cool and graphical. If you're not very uh, technically inclined, you can pick it up quite easily to root what audio you want from different applications or games or background audio if you want to do it that way. Personally, I would probably do it at hardware. If I'm going to spend the money that much money on the software, I'd probably buy a piece of hardware to do it. But uh, this is for, this is kind of a two for one video because this is also uh, talking about a piece of uh, screen capture software for the Mac that installs the audio driver and also um, about how to get the audio driver working in 2021 and which one to use. So Soundflower was the original way of doing it. Uh, do check out Rogue, Rogue Amoeba if you've never heard of these guys. They make some incredible Mac hardware, especially if you're doing podcasting or anything to do with audio. These are the guys to go to. Um, there was another company that came out with a audio capture utility when the Soundflower thing kept on crashing and didn't keep up with the new operating Mac operating systems called I Show You Audio Capture, but I found it a lot more difficult to find this driver. And there's, there's an installer, but there's also an installer for Catalina. So it seems that every time a new Mac version comes out, they change the way that they hook the core audio, which is kind of the subsystem where all the audio is managed with your Mac. So this company who made this original I Show You Audio Capture actually makes some really, really good software. And their latest screen recorder, uh, I use ScreenFlow, I'm using ScreenFlow now to actually record this because i won't be able to show you the software otherwise but they have a piece of software um for capturing screen which is big Sur and m1 ready so that was one of the big prerequisites for me having the macbook air with the m1 is that i wanted a piece of software that was native apple ready m1 ready so i've got the benefits of screen recording and hopefully a bit better on system resources allow me to capture a higher fps as well so heartily recommend i show you instant this is what it looks like it's just a very simple layout you've got presets on the left and you've got all of your different sections for what you want to do with the audio as you're recording it so the video the audio timer we'll get into that in a minute but the best thing about this is it's incredibly cheap like if you go to the store it's only 24 bucks so for the price of this software not only do you get a screen capture utility for your mac but it comes with the ability to install that audio driver which you know yes you can get the audio driver for free if you're on a really 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 tight budget i'm sure you'll find uh, their their audio driver but once you install the software you actually see it pop up in your audio things as swb so shiny white box audio capture and that's pretty much what you need to be able to capture virtual audio as in routing your audio so your game audio music audio in the background of your mac into applications like zoom or microsoft meeting or microsoft meet or obs so highly recommend the 24 bucks actually they have an advanced features version which is an extra 15 bucks which if you're capturing from ios devices so maybe your ipad or your iphone with a lightning cable it's worth that extra 15 bucks and it's even got multi-channel support in there as well so if you want to route in a different loads of different audio from around the system while you're doing your screen cache you can do that as well so for 24 bucks i thought it was worth it so i pulled the trigger on it to actually get a a, a copy of it this is what it looks like let me get rid of that and bring up the screen like i say you've got your presets on the left hand side so you can have different ones for different shows you can have ones just to record it locally uh, you can have ones for just gaming you can have one for different shows you can have ones that go straight to youtube after you've finished so um, one of the reasons why i got this over screenflow is the ability to capture the input rate as a custom so you can go right up to 60 fps but i actually wanted to see if i can capture 
um, higher than that inside of my game. So I've not had much success with it yet in terms of hooking the game. And I think that might be just because of the way that the game runs. It might be better for me to use some kind of HDMI capture and capture it from another display um, at the highest possible settings. But it also might be because I'm capturing a really weird resolution because my uh, MacBook Air screen is 1440 by 900 unless I use the higher setting for that. Um, like I said, it's got all those audio settings in there. One of the features that I really love about this this tool is the ability to have um, a compressor. So no matter how much I shout or get loud, I've got quite a boomy voice. It never distorts and it never goes over a preset limit, which is really, really nice if you're getting really highly animated in a game. Also comes with a graphic EQ as well. Uh, timer, I've not really used timer that much. Visuals is kind of nice. You can actually see what the layout is going to look like. Um, you can reposition where you want the, the um, webcam screen to look to be. I think you can even turn off that and on. You can actually like show it on the screen or you can like zoom it up and, and be talking to the screen and then just like put it back into the corner, which is really nice. Just like three different keys to be able to do that. Uh, visualizing key presses, also show different modifiers, make a click sound, all of those like old school things that you used to see on screencasts. Uh, even little text watermarks or change in the background. And then also you've got like outputs. You can do uh, output frame rate, same as input. So if I manage to do get that um, recording above 60 FPS, I'm hoping that it's going to record it at the higher frame rate. Still playing around with that. And then the output sharing, share recording to um, messages, iDrop notes, and the best one, YouTube. So you can go straight from here into YouTube, which uh, I really, really like that. So it's kind of a two for one video, kind of quick, but if you're looking for a solution to audio capture into OBS and, and get the driver for 24 bucks or whatever it was, you get yourself a decent screen recorder uh, that you can export your stuff real quick up to YouTube and you get that audio driver, which is sitting up here, by the way, it just automatically installs it, but the SWB audio driver. And once you've installed this product, you'll see it drops up in your in your sound drop down and then you can just select this as a an audio device inside of your obs somewhere i'll do another video of um setting that up but i just wanted to make people aware of that that stop using soundflower soundflower don't use the old school i show you uh, capture audio capture grab this swb one because it's going to be up to date and you're going to have a lot less issues if you're using big sur and an m1 processor all right i'll catch up with you soon. bye